Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to talk about the unit 3. We previously saw the dimensionality reduction and PCA that is principal component analysis. Today we are going to talk about the factor analysis which is the third part of the unit 3. Uh, let's see what it is. <coughs> In case of factor analysis, uh, we can say that factor analysis is a statistical method used to describe variability among the observed or correlated variables. Uh, we can explain it with an example that it is possible that variations in six observed variables mainly reflect variations in two unobserved variables that these variables are the underlying variables. Uh, the factor analysis aims to find independent latent variables. I would like to tell that what is the theory behind this factor analysis. Uh, the theory behind is that the factor analytic method is that the information gained about the interdependencies between the observed variables can be later used to reduce the set of variables in a data set. Factor analysis, okay, so it helps to deal with data sets. Uh, wherein these data sets are ha having large number of observed variables thought to reflect a smaller number of underlying latent variables. The factor analysis is almost related to PCA. I mean it is closely related to PCA but two are not identical. PCA can be considered as more basic version Whereas uh, both PCA and factor analysis aims to reduce the dimensionality. So uh, dimensionality reduction is the aim of both of them, both PCA and factor analysis as well. But the approaches taken are much different in both of these techniques. <coughs> factor analysis is clear, clearly designed with the objective to identify the unobservable factors from observed variables. Whereas PCA does not directly address this objective. Factor analysis is a technique that reduces large number of variables to fewer number of factors. So types of factoring are PCA, common factor analysis and image factoring. In case of PCA, this is the com most common method used. Uh, PCA starts with extracting minimum variance minimum variance is extracted and puts them in the first factor after that it removes that variance explained by the first factors and starts extracting maximum variance for the second factor and this process goes on to the last uh, till the last factor in common factor analysis uh, this is the second most preferred method this method does not include uh, unique variance of all the variables and in case of image factoring this method is based on correlation matrix okay correlation matrix OLS regression method is used to predict the factor in image factoring there is also another method that is eigenvalues method uh, eigenvalues show uh, variance explained by that particular factor out of the total variance. We can always know how much the variance is explained by the first factor out of total variance. Suppose if my first factor gives me a variance of 68%, we can know that other factors should be having 32% variance. Next is my factor score method. Uh, the factor score method is also called as the component score method. Uh, this score is of all the rows and columns which can be used as an index of all the variables and can be used for further analysis. With this factor score, Whatever analysis we will do, we will assume that all the variables will behave as uh, factor scores and 
will move. So there is this standardization of score in this method. The third method is the rotation method. Uh, we saw that eigenvalues. So eigenvalues do not affect this rotation method, but the rotation method affects the eigenvalues of the matrix. In turn, this affects the percentage of the variance extracted. 